Hello students, welcome to our channel. Our video today is a math reviewer intended for you in coming grade 7 students as preparation for the entrance exams or any qualifying exams as you enter high school. This is a multiple choice test. It consists of 10 items and you are given 20 seconds to answer each question. But you may pause the video if you need more time to think. Then there is a solution or explanation after each question for you to confirm your answer. And remember, the purpose of this quiz is to help you test and improve your skills in solving math problems. Then please let us know your performance after the quiz. Now are you ready? Let's start! First question. What is the simplest form of 12 over 42? To find the simplest form of a fraction, we need to divide both the numerator and denominator by the greatest common divisor. In this case, the, the greatest common divisor of 12 and 42 is 6. Dividing both 12 and 42 by 6 gives us 2 sevenths. Therefore, the simplest form of 12 over 42 is 2 over 7. So the answer for number one is letter C, two sevenths. Question number two, which of these lies between 5.3 and 5.6? The correct answer is letter D, 5.42. The number 5.42 lies between 5.3 and 5.6 because it is greater than 5.3 and less than 5.6. Number 3. The teacher bought some cookies for her class. After giving three cookies each to 15 students who had completed their assignments, she has 60 cookies left with her. How many cookies did she bring to the class? In the problem, the teacher gave three cookies each to 15 students, which means she gave away a total of 3 times 15 equals 45 cookies. Then if she had 60 cookies left, then she initially brought 45 cookies plus 60 cookies, that is equal to 105 cookies. Thus, the answer for question number 3 is letter C, 105. Number 4. There are 300 students in a school. 40% of the students are boys and 20% of the girls like to swim. How many girls like to swim?
In the problem, 40% of the students are boys. So if the boys are 40%, then the girl must be 60%. So to calculate the number of girls in the school, that is, we will get 60% of 300. 60%, that is also equal to 0 0.60. So to convert percentage in decimal number, we'll just move the decimal point two places to the left. So we have 0 0.60 times 300, that is equal to 180. So in this school, there are 180 girls. Now let's find the number of girls that like to swim. Based on the problem, 20% of the girls like to swim. So we will get 20% of 180, which is the number of girls. Let's convert 20% to decimal number that is also equal to 0 0.20 times 180. So 0 0.20 times 180, that is equal to 36. So there are 36 girls in the school that like to swim. So the correct answer for number 4 is letter A, 36. Number 5. Simplify the following expression. To simplify this expression, we always follow the PEMDAS rule. We will start with the expression inside the parentheses, then the operations on the exponents, and later the multiplication or division, then followed by addition or subtraction. And please note, there is no priority between multiplication and division. You can go with the multiplication first or division. Same goes with addition and subtraction. So in this expression, we will start with the operation inside the parentheses, that is 5 plus 4. So we have now 3 plus 6 times 5 plus 4 equals 9, divided by 3 minus 7. Then now we can add either perform the multiplication or division, just for clarification, in MDAS or PEMDAS, there is no priority between multiplication and division. You can go with the multiplication first or division first. Same goes with addition or subtraction. So since 9 is divisible by 3, I will do the division first before multiplication because it's easier to solve smaller numbers. So 9 divided by 3. That is equal to... 3 plus 6 times 9 divided by 3 equals 3 minus 7. Then we will perform a multiplication that is 6 times 3. We get 3 plus 6 times 3 is 18 minus 7. Then let's do the addition and then subtraction. So 3 plus 18, that is 21, minus 7, the answer is 14. So the answer for number 5 is letter C, 14. Again, we will follow the PEMDAS rule. Let's start with the operations inside the parentheses. That is 6 plus 3 times 8. Since there are two operations inside the parentheses, we will start with multiplication before we add. So that is 150 divided by 
So multiply first 6 plus 3 times 8 that is 24 close in parenthesis minus 5. Then perform ad addition inside the parenthesis. So 150 divided by 6 plus 24 that is 30 minus 5. Then let's do the division. 150 divided by 30 that is equal to 5. Minus 5 the answer is 0. So number 6, the correct answer is letter A, 0. Number 7, how many digits answer will we get when we add 99 and 1? The sum of 99 and 1 is equal to 100. However, the question is, how many digits is the answer? How many digits is 100? The answer is 3 digits. So number 7, the correct answer is letter B, 3. Number 8, find the value of n in the sequence. In the sequence, we can see that the difference between two consecutive terms is equal to 15. That is, 85 minus 70 is 15. 70 minus 55, the answer is also 15. So what is the value of n? So that if we subtract it from 55, the answer will be 15. So the answer is... 40 that is 55 minus 40 equals 15 for number 8 the correct answer is letter b 40 number 9 what is one third of the difference of 35 and 8 Okay, let's solve and get one-third of the difference of 35 and 8. So, one-third of means, of means multiplication. Then, let's get the difference of 35 and 8. So, 35 minus 8, that is equal to 27. Now, one-third times 27, that is 1 times 27 divided by 3. The correct answer or the answer is 9. The correct answer for number 9 is letter C, 9. Number 10. What is one-fourth of the sum of 824? Let's solve one fourth of the sum of 800 plus 24. So, one fourth of means multiplication. Close in parenthesis, 800 plus 24. Let's solve the operations inside the parenthesis first. 800 plus 24. That is equal to one four times 824. Then one one fourth of eight hundred twenty four that is equal to two hundred six. 
So for number 10, the correct answer is letter A, 206.